The Liberal National Party claims Queenslanders could be left with crook prawns and warm beer during Christmas under an energy plan requesting residents to limit air conditioners to 26 C. The opposition was kicked to take aim at the state government's Energy Security Task Force's summer preparedness plan to deal with high power demand during heat waves. Under the plan, Queenslanders could be asked to ease off their air conditioners to prevent blackouts on the hottest summer days, but the Palaszczuk government insists it won't be compulsory. Among the measures, residents and businesses would be urged to set their air conditioners at 26 C during heat waves, only cool occupied rooms and turn off non-essential lights and pool pumps. Opposition leader Tim Nichols asked whether Queenslanders would have crook prawns and warm beer this summer due to Labour's reckless rush towards a 50% renewable energy target. There is not a household or business in Queensland that ISMT doing everything it can to reduce their power bills, Mr Nichols told state parliament. Instead of making sure there is sufficient power supply, Labour have started pointing the finger at Queenslanders and telling them they need to do more. Queensland summer could get even warmer if residents are told to keep their air con at 26 degrees. Related articles Massive blaze tears through castle for squatter shoe and driver who killed motorcyclist after burnout jailed Queenslanders asked to set air con at 26 CBUT the government hit back, with the Premier pointing out the plan was first introduced by the LNP when it was last in government, and Labour had simply expanded it to the whole state. Energy Minister Mark Bailey played down suggestions authorities were worried about power supply over the upcoming months. We are the powerhouse of the country, but we want to make sure we can maintain that status, we expand our network, and we're ready for summer, Mr Bailey told reporters. He also clarified there would be excess capacity, even if there were a dual heat wave in Queensland and NSW and demand from the southern state via the national electricity grid shot up while local demand was also high. For example we had about 546 megawatts of headroom last summer, which is a hell of a lot, but it's less than we'd prefer, we'd want to get that right back up there. The Australian Energy Market Operators report in September said compared to southern states, Queensland had good capacity for generation this summer and into the future. In Queensland and Tasmania, no material blackout risk is expected in these regions across the 10-year assessment period for the modelled scenarios, the report said. Watch the full news bulletin on 9 now, copyright 9 Digital Tie Limited 2017.